Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. On this episode, we've got a real treat for you that we're super excited about. We get to check out a 2020 Snoozy 2. It's not the old little Snoozy, it's the new Snoozy 2. So let's go check it out. So we're here today with Sean. Uh, he works with Snoozy 2, which is the uh, the newly uh, taken over Lil Snoozy, but uh, it's, it's a separate company now, but uh, they're producing a whole new product. And so Sean's nice enough to walk around with us and check out the, the new camper and they've made some adjustments to things and uh, trying out some new things. And, and uh, so let's walk around and check it out. Thank you, man. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you guys being here with us. Uh, like I said, I'm Sean with Snoozy 2 Campers. Um, we've been producing the campers since the beginning of the year. Uh, we're working on unit number eight. Uh, we're taking orders and uh, looking forward to hearing from, from you. So uh, give us a call if you got any questions, but let me show you one of the units. So the biggest thing that you'll notice about the unit, the difference in the unit is the color. Um, we use a uh, Silver Shark color. It's by HK. So this gel coat is probably one of the best gel coats that's on the market right now. Um, it's readily available. We have five boat dealers that are in South Carolina that use this color, so it helps us because we can get it. It's readily available. Um, but it's a good finish. It's durable. Um, this is an all new color, if I'm not correct. Is that right? It is. Because they had like white and then like that. It was tan color, first, tan. and then a white color, okay. and then when we took over, we started with this silver fox color, or the uh, silver shark color. Okay. Are you um, going to be producing any other colors other than this, or is this the... We've talked about doing some things in the future, maybe mm -hmm. a retro version. Um, I really like seeing some of the older stuff with the seafoam greens okay, and sure. stuff like that. Yeah, maybe that, we do a white, that'd be neat. That'd be really cool. a white, the seafoam green, and the white yeah. walls. we got to pimp some white walls. Yeah, so, there you go. That'd be um, cool. We're... <laughs> The main focus right now is just to basically build units, yeah. get them out there, um, get snoozy back where it needs to be, right. and uh, you know just uh, have fun and, yeah. and build a unit that, yeah. and what we keep saying is we, we build a unit that grandkids' mm -hmm. grandkids can play with. Right, so yeah, we built the last, yeah, last a long time. So that being that, uh, as far as the color goes, um, most of we noticed that most of the accents were either black, the window trims and stuff like that, so we started trimming everything out with black. I did not have time. We just finished this one Tuesday night, so we didn't really have a whole lot of time to do much with it uh, other than clean it and get some stuff ready. But we're going to have a series of graphics that go uh, up and down the unit. We have uh, several companies working with us right now. It's just we, we mainly focused on getting the units built so we didn't get all the little details like this going. Um, but we've got a tearaway American flag look we're trying. We've got scallops and stuff like that we're looking cool. at. Yeah. Uh, we just don't have that all in there right now. Um, one of the big things that we did from the former unit is all the hatches are standard. So you've got a left hatch and a right hatch standard. Nice. Yeah. I've seen snoozies. We've worked on some. Uh, mm -hmm. That's kind of when we first started with this. We were able to work on some. Customers brought them to us, uh, and they left them a little bit longer so we could play with them and take pictures and learn all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I thank you guys for all that. Um, so uh, one of the biggest things was they didn't have a hatch on. And mm -hmm. if the customer didn't buy a hatch, there's not one there, or oh. it's on this side versus on the driver's side. Okay. Towing trailers, and we're trailer people. I, I came from Wesco Trailers. Right. Um, we we know kind of a little bit about that, so that's important. You got to have access to something, and you want the driver to have the access to something. So, not just that, but batteries and things of that yeah. nature. You yeah. don't have to crawl across the unit to get to the battery. Mm -hmm. Now you've got another port on the other side. That's awesome. That's that's so nice. You can, as a camper, you can't have enough. Uh, outside storage area that you can put your whatever in there you know your hoses yep. your your jacks your you know any of your chairs That's anything to have as much access as you can to any sort of storage is fantastic so that is a good uh, new feature that y'all are adding to this I think we Very also nice. added the little tongue cover this is a standard feature now um, oh, yeah. this was purchased before um, so it's fiberglass we fabricate oh. this um, we we build we build it really tough. Yeah. You know, I, um, I'm a little guilty of, of kind of overbuilding these. 
granted we overbuild a lot of the unit, but on the fiberglass side, we control how thick that is and we control how durable it's going to sure. be. So I can stand on that unit, I can sit on that unit, I can do everything. Wow. Um, we want to be able for somebody to put, if they want to put a 4,500 pound or 4,500 watt generator uh -huh. or a little Honda generator, 2,200 yep. or whatever, they can do all that and that unit will hold it. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't there before yeah. um, as a standard item, so that is now a standard item. Um, we have a, a variety of tire carriers and stuff like that that we're working with. Former company had some units that would bolt through the hull, and we don't want to put any holes in the hull. Right. So what we've done is we've fabricated a few things. One of them is such where it, it sits like that. The tire mm -hmm. will sit like that with a U-bolt, but I just okay. kind of have that sitting up sure. there. Um, mm -hmm. And it dresses up the front end, too. It Not does. Not only is it functional to be able to add a generator or whatever, or uh, you'd probably put a storage box on there if you wanted, or however you wanted to change it up. But, you know, it's perfect the way it is, and uh, got your tire there, and yeah, dresses it up, looks nice. You gotta have your yard camping sign, too. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's, all, part, that's I mean, all part of camping. When you go through the campsites and you see everybody's got their sign, yeah. Yeah. We, had, we had to come out with something, and we've got some snoozy owners, nice. actually, that gave us that sign, and we're, we're grateful for those Very people, cool. too. Um, I guess let's, let's walk around the other side since we're over here. Well, this this right here, uh, just to point out, I guess you, you're now putting a surge brake system on, we, on this? Every uh, that's snooze, what I call a surge brake system, yep. yeah. Every snoozy that's out, out there has surge, well, not everyone. There's, I've heard of a couple that have electric brakes. Okay. Um, Wesco's always built the trailers for mm -hmm. the snoozies. So um, we have we have about seven different varieties of trailers or variations of the, of the builds. Okay. This is the newest one. Uh, when we took over, basically uh, went through everything mm -hmm. to kind of start. We, we uh, changed the axle location. Mm -hmm. um, we changed kind of how we mounted the slide. So the, up under the snoozy, there's a slide that actually holds, it's a carriage that holds the axle in place and the springs and everything. So okay. let's say in the future, you want to get a 50 gallon tank or something and you want to retrofit mm -hmm. it to your snoozy or whatever. We just move the axle forward, drill some new holes, and bolt it back in place. Okay. So now we can change. Balance the load out. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah. And some people have nifty little things like this where we can mm -hmm. actually dial right. it into yeah. the number. So sure. Mm -hmm. I can that's get, a nice feature. I can get into, we've got this one right at about 260 pounds, which a yeah. little, you know, it, it's a little bit heavy for for some cars. Yeah. Um, but It's uh, still pretty light for most SUVs. Mm -hmm. and small trucks, anything for the most part can handle 260 pounds. Really. The unit weighs uh, 2,500 pounds, so we yeah. want it right in the 10% range. Yeah. And that's, we got it close. Um, so we've got four cylinders, um, six cylinders. We've got people with Ford Escapes, mm -hmm. uh, Jeep Wranglers, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They can tow it. They'll know it's back there. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's uh, you know, it can be towed yeah. by smaller cars. And one thing, going back to the surge brake, that I think I'm familiar with surge brake just because I've had boats that have had the surge brake system on mm -hmm. there. And, you know, for those people that have a small SUV, uh, that sort of thing, that don't have a seven pin plug to run electric, pin. full electric brakes, that works perfect. It's super easy. They work great. They compress. They, it's, I guess, kind of progressive as far as how hard you're braking in the vehicle. It helps brake the, the, the trailer, the braking on the Initially, trailer. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, you know more about it than I do. I'm just uh, going from my experience, which I I have like that system. So most trailers um, in this caliber either come with a five pin with electric brakes, and that fifth pin is usually the electric brakes. You can okay. use a four pin. Mm -hmm. um, this is a drum brake system, and it's free backing, so it doesn't lock out when you back up like some dr disc brake tr uh, trailers okay. do. Cool. Uh, a lot of the boat trailers that are disc brakes, that's what they'll do. Okay. Um, we have boat trailer parts. I mean, yeah. that's that's what we are. So yeah. uh, that we want to make sure we build these units with stuff we have in stock. So if there's ever any chance that something somebody needs something, we've got it. Yeah. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to go and order it. We've yeah. got it on the shelf. Yeah, ready to go. Um, but the four pin stuff, some people don't want to get their trucks wired. They don't want to get their cars wired or whatever. Maybe they don't have sure. to. Right. Um, this thing, just like you said, it basically, this is like putting your foot on the brake right here. Mm -hmm. So as this piece that goes over the tongue as it slides in and out it's applying the brake from the force from the trailer mm -hmm. so the more brake you put on the truck the more the trailer pushes against the truck the harder the brakes are going to apply in the unit um, and they work yeah. so yeah we're <laughs> it's good a, it's it's good stuff yeah the other thing is uh, you check it check your reservoirs 
check, make sure you got some fluid in there. Mm -hmm. That's really about it. Yeah. Every once in a while, you need to check the brakes. Sure. Um, yeah. And I recommend people doing at least a yearly inspection of your brakes. And that's popping the wheel off, popping the cover off, looking at everything, making sure it's good. There's adjustments in there where you can change the, the pad settings. Okay. Um, cool. So there's tons of stuff in this for, for, for the people that, yeah. that want to look at it and, yeah. care and make sure that it's, it's going to last. So all the hookups on this side, we, we there used to be a box that the wire fed into. Okay. Um, after working on a few units recently, we've noticed that there's where the areas that some things got into and built nests and stuff like that. Okay, sure. So do away with the box. Yeah. Um, this is just a power cord now uh, and a plug. Um, of course, the storage hatch. Generally, we'll put the outdoor shower on this side. Okay. Um, this is your water hookup and your cable hookup. Okay. Um, if there's other things that we find in the future, we're gonna try to keep everything to this area so that way we're not running all over the place. Okay. Some people want the, the outdoor shower on the back. We can mm -hmm. kind of, we can play with that some mm -hmm. too. It's just as long, we gotta have access to it right. on the, on the sure. outside of the cabinets. Yeah. Um, this is part of the slide that I was talking about. So this is actually bolted to the springs okay. and the axles bolted all to that. So that's all an undercarriage on this trailer and nice. the trailer is set down on top of it. Um, and one thing I want to point out real quick is it has an all galvanized frame, which that and coming from, again, from having boats is, is a big plus, you know, it's not gonna corrode or rust or anything uh, like a standard steel frame would. Very nice. We, we fabricate the trailer, we build it on a table. Um, Wesco has a really nice facility. They were able to move a couple of years ago, and they've they've got a really good operation going on over there. Um, but it's built. We send it over to Valmont, and they hot dip galvanize it, so it's completely saturated. Um, the galvanizing that you'll see on this is a lot different than galvanizing you see in most most applications, because a lot of people they just throw a coat on it and it's okay. done. These guys use three coats. Wow. So they do a an acid wash, they do the galvanizing, and then they do a quench wash, which is um, it's basically just to brighten everything up and to seal everything in. Nice. So, uh, and that's why we use them. And they're, yeah. they're, they're good and it's going to guarantee that trailer's going to be around for yeah, a while. Yeah, it's going to last a long time. That's long, what long we want. Time. Yeah. Um, please excuse my jacks. Uh, like I said, we just finished this one. This would be where we would actually install a jack, uh, a, either a swivel jack, a scissor jack, or something okay. like that. You hit it with an impact. Okay. We can mount them. Uh, this way, that way, however, it's basically it's however the customer wants it. Okay. Um, some customers don't want them at all. Sure. Uh, yeah. You leave it hooked up to the truck, you don't have to worry about it. Based and, on their needs and wants, yeah. I guess. Huh? Yeah. Um, we have I like these little lights right there. Cool lights, you know, got a little chrome bezel on there, LEDs. We like went chrome. We tried to do chrome on all of it. We did all of our side marker lights, all of our brake lights, uh, even our side, or our, uh, the, uh, the lights for the outside. Um, Everything's pretty much trimmed in chrome. We wanted to have something that looked a little blingy, but yeah. you know we didn't want to go overboard with sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Um, you've got the hatch for the when you get further back here. That's the hatch for the Thedford. And if I can find okay. my keys, I will open that, that up. That is the cassette toilet uh, door. It's kind of I guess that's what you call it, right? It is. It is okay. a Thedford cassette toilet. Um, I've heard they're super easy to use. I've never used one, but people seem to love them. You're basically doing that. It even comes with a, oh, yeah, a little cat. So you got to do that, and then once you get to where you're going, um, there's sewer hookups at most RV yeah. places and stuff like that. You've also got, uh, I mean, if you got a toilet and you got to yeah. go to the toilet, yeah. you just need to make sure this is closed. And that releases the air pressure okay. and pumps right. it in there. Cool. How many, been how many used gallons? Is that? <laughs> um, like four or five gallons or something? In the paperwork, I think it says two, use, two uses. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it depends yeah. on the usage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Depends on the use. Depends on the... But uh, yeah, that's cool. It's super easy to get to. Yep, get it back in there yeah. and lock it in there. Yeah. You just got to remember to keep your key with you, which yeah. I, I don't ever do. <laughs> Some of the snoozies. You'll see that uh, the bumper on the back of it, we've been playing with this a little bit. Um, if you look at some of the snoozies that are out there, some of the old ones that are out there, you'll have about that much of a bumper. Okay. And that's how the, the former company built them. Um, we've changed it a little bit. Uh, not anything more than really aesthetics. Mm -hmm. 
but we noticed it gave us a little bit more leverage when we moved the axle too, so it, okay. it actually rode better. Oh, uh, so nice. we're going to probably keep most of these back here in this area with the body right up against the wood, you know, right up against the rail. Right. Okay. We do want some kind of bumper, but I really um, I feel sorry for somebody that runs into one of these things because yeah. it's going <laughs> to it's going to tear up something. These the new lamination schedule we've got on these is tough, uh, and I've got some demonstrations of that I can okay. show you inside. But um, there is a step option too. Okay. You can have the step welded in. Okay. Uh, what the step does, it's actually just a platform that'll fold down and then it folds up. When it folds up, it stows in the way of the door so it acts as security too. And you can actually take a, a master lock and lock through a couple of holes on okay. the stairs with that so, feature. So you can't open that door. Even if the door is unlocked is what you're saying, they still couldn't open the door if it's padlocked down there. You wouldn't be able to get That's in. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you probably cool. couldn't even rip the door open. Yeah. Nice um, big door. Hello. I must yeah. say too, I mean, it's a nice big wide door. For, we, uh, uh, there, there's a couple options here. We really haven't gotten into, there's a bigger door we can use. When we get into the bigger doors, you have problems with the bathroom and with the air conditioner. Okay. Yeah. We want to be able to use a big air conditioner, um, especially in the south. Sure. Uh, but right now we've gone, the former company used an 8,000 BTU unit. We're using a 6,000 BTU unit. And we think with our new lamination schedule, and I'll show you that in a few minutes, okay. um, we think with that, that we can keep the insulations enough to where you'll actually notice the difference in cool. it. And not have to buy the expensive yeah. air conditioner too. So, um, But this is the main door option we're gonna use for right now. Um, they've got some door options with windows turned, but you know, this, this it works, it works great. Yep. It's a bigger door than most RVs, smaller RVs like this. Um, and you don't have to duck to get in. Very nice. Uh, you got the fantastic fan, which is on the back of it. That's um, a big option that yeah. a lot of people get. Um, our air conditioner is mounted on the back. Yep. Um, it's uh, it's good for a couple things. You can put it on the top. Uh, we would probably do some things on the top, but if you don't put a hole in the top, you don't have to worry about leaks on the top. That's right. So yeah. So there is nothing on the top of this camper. That uh, so there are no holes drilled through the top of this camper, and uh, so it means the top's not going to leak, just like you said, which is which is such a an amazing idea, really. I mean. It's surprised that more campers don't have that uh, kind of that idea built into their camper because you know, that's that's where most of the leaks come from. At least, at least I've experienced. We want to do some things with solar, and we want to do some things, but for the the most part, right now, I mean, if you come by Snoozy, you're going to see somebody on top of one of these things polishing it. Yeah. So when we get up on top of them, we, yeah. we, we get all over them. So the top is built strong enough to, to handle anything. Yeah, that's awesome. And it'll hold whatever you put up there, but. We're going to look at some stuff in the future, but right now we just, you know, that's that's what makes it a snoozy. That's what yeah. everybody's looking at. Those rolls and those lines. That's, that's right. what people it, want to see. It's unique. It so. certainly is. All right. Well, come on in. Let's check it out. Okay. So when you first walk in, you'll notice you've got, you don't really feel like you're in a 14-foot camper. It opens up and it gives you a really homey feeling. So you've got a queen-size bed, and we do alter a little bit we alter the mattress so the mattress is specific to this unit each corner gets a little taper in it um, we've got a couple of different options on mattresses memory foam uh, we can get into some really trick mattresses so if that's something that the customer wants we can definitely do it um, the jackknife sofa will fold out too so you just basically move the table a lot of people get into stowing the table back here along the mattress Now you've got your jackknife. Yeah. So it's pretty big. Um, it, it's not marvelous, but it is something, and somebody could definitely sleep on this. And this is actually one of the nicer couches that you see in an RV. You've seen RVs that have just uh, the cotton stuff and things like that, but we, we try to get the good stuff in these in these snoozies. And then so when we get over here to the other side, everything we build the cabinets with is all red oak. Um, so all the, the, everything's got good latches, lockable latches, things of that nature. And a good solid, solid wood there. It looks great. And then of course your air conditioner. The kitchen area, I've got some stuff over here kind of in the way, but the kitchen area is, um, we have not come up with a cooktop or anything like that to mount in the units. You can get a $40 cooktop. You can get a $150 cooktop. It, it, 
really there's so many varieties out there we just we haven't had time to get out there and look and see what the best unit is so we're kind of leaving that up to the customers but you put a cooktop or whatever here we've got uh, this is just a regular dorm style refrigerator it does have a freezer area and it does have a uh, the area for the refrigerator you've got a microwave and I don't know if you can come around here and see this but all the power and the controls are right here um, so that's where the breaker box is tells where all the power is that's how you turn everything on any kind of any breakers trip or anything that's where you'd mess with that yeah and then this is the other part of the countertop yeah this is one thing that we really like is the all the counter space in here this window this is an option you can get this window on both sides you can get it there you can put it in the bathroom too so that window is available there okay. you can also get a picture window here that's exactly like this one a lot of people do that but um, a lot of people don't because this is now you can put a 40 inch TV in this area right here mm -hmm. so you mount your you get an articulating rotating mount or uh, you know which a, a fancy one however you wanted to do that there's a, a feed through right here there's a plug right there and there's a cable outlet down we have a cable outlet wired into the bottom of it um, so you would just hook up on the outside for your cable and then however your TV is, but you would just stow it right there. So you could turn it like this, you could turn it like that, however you want, it works really good. We kind of focused on colors a little bit with these. I know a lot of the former units, they have all the same colors in them. Mm -hmm. We've changed a lot of the, the Formica and stuff like that. Okay. So uh, you'll see different colors in them. You'll see stone in some of the linoleum. Okay. Sure. Uh, and we'll do some of that stuff based on what the customer wants yeah. too. It just kind yeah. of depends. Yeah, that's, that's a nice color there too. I, I do like that one. All right, so let's get into the good stuff. Um, the way, so I didn't really know a whole lot about fiberglass before other than repairing motorcycles and stuff like that. Sure. Uh, so I had to learn kind of a, a crash course and we actually had, uh, we've got five boat dealers in South Carolina. Okay. Um, and we've got five boat dealers that our sister company works with a lot too. So uh, it was very, we were very fortunate to get trained by people that know exactly what they're doing. and. They came in, they showed us yeah. exactly how to do it. Well, um, the boat guys know how to do it, that's for sure. They're, they're good at it. They do. And they showed us how to do this kind of in a different way. So instead of just spraying fiberglass into a bowl mm -hmm. and then rolling it out with a roller, mm -hmm. we actually infuse everything. So it's infusion molding. Um, that cuts down on the smell. Uh, it, it has a little bit more waste because you got a lot of plastic products and stuff like that that mm -hmm. you throw away after every mold. Sure. Um, but it's 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 really easy and it cuts down a lot on the labor too so instead of having four guys doing two parks now two of us can do it and take a lunch break you know yeah. instead of having to work yeah. through lunch and all that so it's it's uh it's pretty good and it's easy um the way we've learned it's easy but mm -hmm. um sometimes weather is it plays a factor you got to change some of the percentages but for the most part what we do this is a gel coat layer so that gel coat that's how thick we spray yeah. the gel coat that's yeah, thick it's it 24 really milliliters thick. Yeah. And that's actually a plug out of one of the parts. Nice. So the 20... Yeah, you, can, you can see that layer, that, that thickness of the outside shell. And then what is that in the center? So the first layer is the gel coat. And then we do a layer of chop strand mat okay. or chop strand off the gun. Okay. And what that does is that actually holds the gel coat into place. Okay. Because what, if you spray gel coat in a mold, sometimes it'll pre-release. Mm -hmm. You want to have something in there to stick it in there and stay in there. So that's okay. a sprayed resin. Um, that's one layer of that. And then we let all that cure. We go back in and we sand it down to take all the burrs and everything out. You know, if we've got any pieces that stick out, we want to make sure that none of the fiber is off of where it's supposed to be. It's supposed right. to be flush with everything. Okay. So we take a sander, uh, board sander, DA, whatever we've got, mm -hmm. and we'll run through and we'll clean the part up on the back side of the chop, or of that, uh, of the... Uh, the chopper gun. Okay. Then we put a layer of 2408, which is a little bit different weight of fiberglass and chop strand mat together. Okay. So it's a lighter weight on the inside. We do a lighter weight because you're creating a lot of heat right in there. Mm -hmm. So we don't want the heat to burn through the gel coat and make a print in the gel coat because it'll actually suck the gel coat in and you'll see it on the outside. Okay, wow. Well, we have yeah. a couple of pieces out here yeah. that I can show you and that's just, I'm being picky. Yeah. Um, but you know, when you have a surface like this, you want it. You want it smooth and you sure. want it shiny and sure. you want it you know, nice and neat. Yeah. This is actually a foam board. Uh, we call this T92. Okay. Um, T92 has densities. So we use a density of 60% on this. So it's 40% air. When you have that, 
The last layer is a 3610 weight. Mm -hmm. So now we've got all that. We're basically sandwiching in that foam board and it's got 40% air in it. So we do create a little bit of insulation in the part. Um, okay. And that's probably the biggest difference between the former snoozies and ours. Okay. So there's some R value built in just in that whole system right there with that insulation in there. Yep. And then you got another layer of gel coat. Yeah. So we're that's trying thick. to figure all that out. Yeah, I mean that's probably a half inch thick right there. I mean that's and that's it's structurally thick, that's yeah. that's super strong. There's a we've yeah. got a cutout outside and I want you yeah. to stand on it, jump up and down on it. So yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> so we're gonna see I'm gonna break this panel. This is what the wall of this camper is made from. This thing is good and solid. You're not gonna break it. It's like jumping on a <laughs> cinder block here. That thing is solid. And so this is all like vacuum sealed. It's basically. all it's sucked down, and we suck yeah, it down as tight as we can get it. And, um, and then the vacuum is that's our motor because yeah. the vacuum we then run feeds into the center of the part, mm -hmm. and the vacuum is pulling all the resin through the rest of the part. All of it, yeah, so, that, so, so everything gets soaked in resin, and, and it makes a good the whole good part solid. is consistent throughout. Very cool. So yeah, that's a great system. The bathroom, um, well, it is a full size bathroom. Well, I guess full size, <laughs> but it is a full bathroom. Um, and you've got the fantastic fan in there, you've got a, a, a Thetford toilet in there, and uh, everything drains below the toilet. You will notice that the shower is gray. Um, right now, we've got some white ones, we've got some gray ones, but the biggest thing we're doing is we're trying to kind of consolidate and stop mistakes. So we don't have the ability to change back and forth with gel coats right now so you'll see the gray showers and i think it makes it look a little bit better too yeah it's kind of cool yeah looks good and it has a sliding shower door yeah. yep that's you really lock that nice. into place we put magnets in here to hold it when you're inside very nice there is a shower curtain that goes in this unit and we have not we didn't get that installed before we left um but you want to make sure you have that shower curtain and it basically just covers this area so when you do close the door that nothing gets on this. Mm -hmm. The back of the door is sprayed with a special glue so it's waterproof. Um, you know, we we don't have all the, the, the super nice things and the super stainless and, you know, the nice finishes and stuff like that. But when you walk in here, you get a really good homey feeling just yeah. from the, the red oak and stuff like yeah. that. And that's, we want to keep that appeal. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really pretty. The, the wood's really pretty in here. and. I mean, for being a demo model that y'all just got done before you came to this event, is I mean, y'all came, you know, it, it looks great. I know you said you got a few, some few more things to do to it yet, but I mean, it looks phenomenal. So well, we appreciate yeah, that. Y'all doing a great job. Thank you very much. Cool. We uh, we welcome anybody to come by and come come check us out. We're in we're in St. Matthew, South Carolina. Um, you know, so uh, just give us a holler. Come on by. We are doing everything the government's telling us to do as far as social distancing so we'll make sure everything's safe on that side but uh definitely come by uh and see us and we uh, appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me yeah we may have to come do a tour of your little facility there we love that we got all kind of fun stuff going on over there so come check us out and let us know this, this camper's gonna last a long time that's what we hope we hope the grandkids grandkids see it so. yeah I, I think they're going to between the galvanized frame the thickness of the walls on the fiberglass, there's nothing to leak on top. It's, it's going to last a decades and decades, that's for sure. That's what we're hoping so. for. Sean, thanks again for letting us uh, check out this camper and showing us around. We appreciate it. And I know it. there's a lot of people that are really excited that Snoozy is coming back. It's, it's going to be bigger and better. So stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.